Welcome Capricorns. Let's see what's coming up for the month of March. The calling up of the angels of white and universal angels to show us the message. For the Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. Capricorn, I want to say um, thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Go check out your um, your Pisces reader to see what is coming up. Let's see your major issues. Surrender. I release my control. Wow. Yes, Capricorn, you need to surrender from something. Blame. I expect responsibility for my well-being and success, Capricorn. Oh, my God. Congratulations to all the Capricorn out there. Success. I know that there is no greater gold than to love. Success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. All right. So, Capricorn, this is going to be an extremely wonderful months let's see what is going to be coming up remember the first two weeks is going to be the scorpion season and the two last week is going to be the season of the aries okay so let's see what's coming out for you capricorns oh my god the um ten of cups um in the first house in the reverse um some of you could be dealing with the aries and there could be some sort of a problem. The heartbreaks is going to be over. You and your family could have been having some sort of a family issues that was going on, Capricorn. It is over. Um, the energy of the seven of ones, you're standing your ground to a situation that has transpired. You're standing your ground and showing up for yourself. So con congratulations, Capricorn. Um, the first week is going to be a really, really positive, positive week. Whatever is happening and transpiring, um, Capricorns, you are going to be um, having some sort of a family issue that you were having. You stood your ground. You decided, no, they're not walking over me. Heartbreaks that you have with friends is going to be over. And the seven of wands, it's the six of wands. Good news is going to be coming in. Wow. Absolutely fabulous. The five of pentacles is in the reverse. Financial hardship that you were going through is going to come to an end. Um, another wonderful energy, the four of wands. Um, some sort of an instability that was going on is going to be balanced out. And judgment, but it's positive. Good news is coming in. Capricorn, this is going to be absolutely fabulous. Fabulous. So the energy of the six of uh, the six of wands, whatever that was going on, there is definitely wonderful news that is going to be coming in in the first week of March. Um, whatever that was going on and was affecting you, um, a resolution is going to be coming in. Then we see the energy of the ten of wands, burdens. Um, some of you could have been carrying some sort of a financial burdens. You could be helping out your family. Um, that is coming up. The five of ones, there is a whole lot of conflicts um, that is going on surrounding some sort of a contract. And the daughter of cups, this energy is a scorpion young woman who could have created some sort of a problem, some sort of a conflicts um, that is connected. So if you Capricorns have a daughter, um, <clears throat> your child, um, some sort of uh, news is going to be showing up. Uh, um, or if you have heard from this child, this child is going to be showing up. All right. So you're going to be getting back a whole lot of money from a cancer. Um, there is something between you and a cancer where a cancer could have took you down a whole lot of money or a cancer have to pay some sort of a damage um, to you for something that they have done. Okay, so um, that is going to be transpiring. The Son of Pentacles. 
this is a Taurus person. This can be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. They're having a lot of conflicts to deal with. The Son of Pentacles is a young person. Whoever this young person is, is dealing with a whole lot of conflicts. The Four of Swords, they're going to be winning and winning a, a legal suit that was going on against a Taurus um, and a Scorpion. So if you were dealing with a Taurus and a Scorpion, they could have done something that was now above water. You are going to be winning. Um, uh, in the house of uh, uh, the Librans, you're going to be winning um, a lawsuit against a Libran um, and you're going to be winning against a Pisces, okay? So um, the... Um, Four of Cups. So number 44 is going to be your frequency and energy um, for this month, Capricorns, whatever that was going on and transpired. Um, I see that there is and was some sort of an emotional. I said um, to you guys that there's something that is going to be coming out of that has to do with a, a cancer that some of you could be dealing with. The energy of the Four of Cups is the moon is in Cancer. They recognize the secrecy of a Cancer and how a Cancer was gaining a lot of money, uh, maybe from off your back, from a project. Um, they're not going to be rec recognizing what is going on. The money is going to be returning to you. A uh, Cancer and their family could have been profiting um, from you for a very long time. And this is going to be resolved. So... Wonderful situation. Family issues are definitely going to be coming up where some of you who are family member of Aries, Leo, or Sagittarian and a, um, and if your child is a scorpion or you're dealing with a young scorpion, instability for this young scorpion because something came out and they're now going to be recognizing what this young cancer have done. The energy of uh, heartbreaks. There was some sort of a family issue that was going on and this family issue that was going on, they're going to be recognizing um, exactly what was going on. So um, this family issue could have been dealing with uh, a liberal person in your family or a liberal person and their family could have done you Capricorn something. When we look at the energy of the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Cups is in reverse. But you see, one of these, these cards uh, um, with a family... Um, a family issue and you were dealing with financial problem with this family because it's as if this family was taken from you so you surrendered the situation um, to the universe and now the universe is going to be resolving the situation and um, it, you know what is so good that the only sword energy is the energy of Jupiter in Libran so Libran has to do with lawsuit lawsuit against a scorpion and a Taurus. If you guys had a situation with a Scorpion and a Taurus, if they are your brothers or sister, if they are friends, if they were people who mastermind some sort of a problem and created some sort of a problem for you, this is going to be resolved. Well, always follow us to the other side so you can see the extended of this reading. So when we deliberate on family, there was a family member, Aries family member that could have mask mind and did something that was not right. There is strong foundation. Um, your foundation was shady and shaky, especially people who are in a relationship uh, with Tauruses and Virgos, your foundation is going to be a little bit shaky because there's going to be a lot of conflicts over money between you and a Virgo and a Taurus. So if you're in a relationship with a Virgo or a Taurus, a Virgo or a Taurus is your sister or brother, a Virgo or a Taurus, there is a lot of conflicts surrounding a whole lot of money, okay? So the people who are going to be affected at home um, is... Uh, um, uh, people who are married to Virgo and Taurus, and it can also have to do with Aries, okay? Um, your friends had really played you, Capricorns. Um, a lot of you, your friends had really played you, and your friends could have played you and took a lot of money. So we see the energy of the heart breaks. So, and don't forget, number 44 is your frequency of this month, we have twice the energy of 44 
and the energy of 44 is that you call in your angels and guides whatever is happening and transpiring capricorn call in your angels and guides um because some of you are going to be finding out how your friends have really played you big time big time and this is a situation that is going to be coming to an end because if you notice this energy of the three of swords is a secrecy in Libran. And as you see in the, the house of the Libran, the Librans are in conflicts. Okay. Huge conflicts surrounding the Librans because they're, they're now gaining some sort of an understanding of what, um, a Libran have done. Um, or they're now recognizing that the Libran had done something that was not above water. Okay. And they're not going to be recognizing that. No, a burdensome situation that some of you have been carrying with a house or with work is going to finally come to an end because there is uncertainty for this person. Someone was creating a whole lot of chaos for you Capricorns. And now um, this chaos is going to come to an end because uh, you're going to be getting some real positive news in the first week of March. Okay. So this is going to be absolutely, um, positive. And the third week is when the burdens, some sort of a burdensome issue for some of you, it's your child and their partner. Um, their relationship is not going good. So if you have children, they're married in relationship, then their relationship is not going good. Um, there was a serious case to, um, that was happening with, uh, um, a uh, the daughter of the cups and the energy of the daughter of the cups is a situation where um this taurus is going to be finding out what the scorpion has been doing so a scorpion they have found out because a judgment call is going to be coming down on a scorpion young woman whoever the scorpion young woman is is as if uh, their partner have found out what they have done or a Taurus have found out what they were, have done. A Taurus is now gaining a lot of secrecy and recognizing that there was a lot of secrecy that was uh, played. So the four of ones is the energy of uh, um, the instability surrounding you know, some of you and the instability um, that is going to be coming up for your child if your child is a scorpion. If your child is a Pisces, Cancer, or a scorpion, there's some sort of an instability, judgment call. But this situation, if you were dealing with a young scorpion person, you're going to be winning against this young scorpion person because you're going to be gaining a lot of information and understanding of who this young scorpion person is and what was going on. The energy of financial hardship is going to come to an end. There was a lot of conflicts over um, money and you are going to be um, the um, coming out the best from this conflict surrounding a whole lot of money because the secrecy of a Libran and a Leo is now out. So it could have been that these people, um, the three of swords in reverse is that their secrets is now out. Whenever it's upright, it was that you were going to arch eight because of what friends have done you, but you have overcome um, this situation. What I recognize is that um, the energy of the Ten of Pentacles, uh, a judgment call is going to be coming out because there's a huge conflict uh, where a Libran have to return a whole lot of money because they recognize that a Libran have mastermind a plan. And a Libran could have helped a Gemini in the past to gain a lot of money. And they're now going to be um, really gaining a lot of knowledge of how this Libran helped this Gemini um, to um, pocket themselves with a whole lot of money. So the heartbreaks is over financial, your financial situation and the hardship. And um, they're gaining a lot of knowledge, uh, information um, about a huge conflict. This could have been a huge um, legal drawn out situation um, that was happening. Um, this situation is now finally coming to an end. So good news is going to be coming in. And as you look at uh, the second week, whatever is going on, whatever hardship you have, whether with a business or a house, some sort of a positive news is going to be um, really coming in for you guys. I love this month because there's uh, less sword energy um, there's a lot that is going to be connecting families together. 
um this three of swords this libran energy is like really weird um in the house of friendship so your friends had really done you um um done you like some really good um injustice so what is good in um the house the fourth house is that there is money so they're not going to be recognized in that uh, someone could have took a whole lot of money um the, and or did not pay out a whole lot of money that was supposed to be paid out and these uh, um these energy of uh, you know the word the, the energy of uh, um you trying to balance out a whole lot of stuff and these energies i mean when we look at the situation and we look at uh, the crowning energies of uh, this month it is about hardships being over okay and whatever you were dealing with with, with a, a gemini person this is going to be over because i see now the burden is being shifted to a taurus um young man now if you your son is a taurus young man your son is going to be finding out that his wife his girlfriend someone could have been having some sort of an affair now whatever is going on it is a situation to follow us to the other side in order to gain um, a lot of knowledge but you're going to be successful especially with work good news success especially with work overcoming a young person that could have put a lot of obstacles in your way um the energy of the four of swords is jupiter in libran and with this jupiter in libran it is a positive energy where um you are going to be creating positivity positive things in your life and this is going to be absolutely absolutely fabulous okay so family issues um it's as if your friends had created some sort of a family um problem against your family it could be that friends was jealous of you and created a whole lot of issues um surrounding your family okay and um mask mind some sort of a plan um, how they were um, um, escalating a situation until it's as if people start uh, recognizing that uh, um, what other people were saying is not true, okay? Um, you could have some sort of a problem with the Aries in the family in this month. Uh, the hardships, your financial hardships that was there or hardships that you were going through with a Taurus is going to come to an end. Uh, problematic situation with friends, relatives, uh, um things from outside your existence uh, um th this burden that you were carrying is now going to be over then we see the money is in your 12 house so this money is could be money coming back from your house returns from your house because they recognize that a cancer was mask mining and had mask mining a plan and was getting a lot of tax return or getting a lot of money off of you or using your information. A lot of people identity that was stolen, people are going to be starting. It's as if they start to investigate a lot of stuff and um, they're recognizing that a cancer and their friends could have mask mined a plan. In the house, some of you are going to be, some of you were heartbroken over something that a Libran has done. You have let this go and you have moved forward. When we look at relationships, the people are going to be having relationships problem is the Aries. If you're in a relationship with an Aries, a Virgo or a Taurus, you could be having a, um, some sort of a relationship problems. Okay. Some of you, your relationship might be rocky. Things is not really stable at home for some of you who are in relationship. If you're not in relationship, you're okay. What you're going to be getting is like, uh, um, some sort of a help, financial help, um, to buy a house or financial help, or you could be selling a house. So, when we look at the energy of the five of ones, the energy of the five of ones is a serious, serious energy because it's about conflicts. It's about conflicts. And when you look in the house where the conflicts is, it's in the house of marriage, relationship, contractual agreement. And there is where the conflicts is, some sort of a legal conflicts. But as you look and recognize where um, a Libran is, because that's the house of the Libran, it is in the house of friendship. And this could have been 
a Libra could have stabbed some of you in the back and it is now all coming out. So a whole lot of conflicts surrounding uh, a house situation, a whole lot of conflicts um, that has been happening and transpiring where a lot of you are going to be getting out of these uh, issues, conflicts. Some of you who are in relationship with a Taurus, and um, this Taurus could have had some sort of a secret affair. Um, it came out. I see sadness for the Taurus. You Capricorns are, things are so unsettled for you at home. And this is what I said. Aries, Virgos, and, uh, um, and, and Taurus. Not all of you, but some of you. Okay. When we look in the house of uh, karma and the Kundalini and that sort of a thing, some of you Capricorn could be finding out, uh, um, there is a situation, I said Taurus and Virgo, a lot of you Capricorns are going to be dealing with Taurus and Virgo. And a Virgo person, um, this Virgo man, um, is dealing with some sort of a legal issues, but you, um, Capricorn is going to be winning because this Virgo man, um, this is a karmatic situation between you, a Virgo man, and you, and a Taurus man. When we look in the house of your luck, the ninth house, good news is going to be coming in. This is positive news. Um, the, the, this is so positive. This the good news that is going to be coming in is absolutely positive. Judgment is here. And when we have the energy of judgment is that uh, um, this is as if the universe stop in your spirit guides and the universe stop in to stop, block and end some sort of a conflict that some of you were having. You're dealing with a young Pis uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person. Um, whatever is going on there, recognizing um, what this young um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person have done. They're now gaining um, a whole lot of idea over who this person is and what this person have done. And for some of you, this person is either your daughter-in-law or your child. Or just um, a random person who uh, created um, a really um, dishonorable thing against you. Where if you notice the judgment call, and it's definitely a scorpion. So a lot of you, it could be a, your daughter-in-law. Um, it could be someone you worked with. But this is a young scorpion. And this young scorpion could have masterminded some sort of a plan. And, and created some sort of a problem for you. And this is going to be resolved, okay? So the blame is like a Libran and a Taurus is now blaming each other um, for what has happened and transpired. And you're like, you know, you people can shift the blame. Um, the thing is that the situation needs to be resolved, okay? There's a whole lot of, 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 of conflicts with a cancer and a whole lot of money. And there is as if this cancer needs to pay you back. And it is a legal issue. But you're coming out the winner. Okay. So we're seeing you and this cancer. It's like there's a battle that you're not aware of. And a cancer through a legal issue have to pay you a whole lot of money out. Okay. Then we see good news. And there was some sort of a um, instability around you that was created by a Virgo and a Gemini. Um, the, the problem with the, the, the Gemini that you were having is now going to be over. Then we see um, that, uh, you know, the, 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 the moon in Libran is about uh, the secrecy surrounding a marriage, a relationship, uh, whatever you co-sign with another person, whatever contracts you created, with another person, um, it is showing up. Now, when we look at your outcomes in the 12th house, the 12th house is the sword. And it is as if your spirit guides are protecting you Capricorns. And I'm talking about, you know, whatever is going on, um, you were the slaughter to the lamb or the lamb to the slaughter. And uh, whatever what was going on is as if uh, people really, I mean, like, uh, chewed you up and spit you out. Um, and it, it, it was as if I don't even know half of these people. 
we as Capricorn people, we clear other people karma. Um, we have to help other people to face their karmas. Um, so it's very hard for us. There is no question. Um, so the heartbreaks, the heartbreaks that is going on, um, or what's going on is going to be separated. The hardship that you were having, because it's, it, you're going to be having a lot of things to deal with, but it is good. It's as if you're busy, but you're, you're busy and you're, happily being busy so this is a situation that is going to be um so wonderful because uh, um what is going to be transpiring is that because of the busyness um you're going to be really enjoying um the busyness okay a lot of you that is in a relationship but i see this could be that some of you are trying to help your children out or a couple out um this couple is um a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, and you're trying to help these people out. It could be um, you people between the ages of uh, 18 and 45 is going through um, some sort of an issue. And there is so much conflict surrounding um, this situation where a lot of people are now looking at the situation and is now, um, and, and for a lot of you, because... There's a lot of instability surrounding you guys. A whole lot of instability. There is no question about it. There is just so much instability that is going on. And it is the timeline because uh, when we look at the energies of, uh, uh, there's going to be a lot of fastness. There's going to be fiery energy. It's, it's, you know, you could be really having a huge conflict and fiery energy dealing with another person, but it's as if you're guiding this other person on the right part. Okay. So, um, this is something that could be coming up. So, you know, Capricorn, sometimes these things happen. Sometimes people are like, you know, this is, uh, one of those days, one of those times that I wish I could just sit this one out. But the universe is saying to you, Capricorn, no, you can't sit this out. This needs to be resolved. you got to resolve this, okay? What do you need to surrender? For some of you as a Pisces, for some of you as a Taurus, for some of you as a Sagittarian. And by surrendering these people, these situation. It is going to be coming in. Oh, look at this. Isn't this beautiful? 11. Make a wish, ladies and gentlemen. Make a wish. Let's make this wish together. Let's bring back positive energy. Ladies and gentlemen, release. Release this person, release this family, release this situation, release this trouble, release this bothering energy that is coming up. Release, ladies and gentlemen, release your financial hardship to the universe and said, universe, you know that I came here and volunteer to help other people. Release um, this problem, this situation for me okay this is just a powerful energy this is this is just so beautiful look at the colors coming back and this is a light purple and this is like um one of those healing time when a lot of you are going to be healing the family issues that was going on um the things healing between you and the pisces is going to be coming in and it says if yeah it is now time to let go um, you know, it is now time to let go. So if some of you were dealing with a Pisces uh, or in a relationship with a Pisces and, uh, whatever that was going on, it is, it is going to be karma. That relationship was, uh, uh, karmatic and you're healing it and letting it go and let that other person go. Okay. So there she is going to be releasing the dove. And this is what you do, ladies and gentlemen. You release. I want to release this situation i want to release this burden release okay um a libran now is recognizing a libran some of you were dealing with a libran and um for a relationship between you a libran and a leo 
you're releasing these people. It's as if some of you were connected with these people. There could have been your sister that is a Libran, your sister or brother that is a Leo. But this is a woman coming up because this woman is trying to place the blame on and other people and you know it, it, it is a situation where some of you could have gotten yourself in some sort of a situation trying to blame place the blame on another person now you're going to be very successful oh my god look at this this is beautiful this is absolutely beautiful a new start and a rebirth you're going to be rebirth Oh my God, this is, um, this is just absolutely fabulous. A rebirth is coming up for a lot of you Capricorns. And this rebirth is going to be bringing you success and is going to be giving you success. And uh, some sort of a success is going to be coming up and the success is going to be powerful because it's going to be shifting your frequency and energy. Okay, it's going to be shifting you as a person. It's going to be shifting your frequency and energy. And this is going to be absolutely wonderful. A lot of you, you need to be aware of a Leo person. A Leo person could be using witchcraft to trap you in a situation. Okay, I don't know who this is for, but a Leo person could have been using witchcraft um, in order to trap you and to create illusion in your world. So um, this is one of the reasons why you could be releasing this Leo person and, 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 and letting this Leo person go. Um, it, for some of you, it's coming up as a Leo and a Sagittarian for some of you. Okay. So uh, good news is coming in. If you were trapped in a situation, you're going to be released and this is going to be good. I do love you, um, um, Capricorns. And you're going to be having problems with the areas in the family, a hardship with relationship with you and the Taurus. Conflicts is going to be over between you and the Gemini. Um, the money that a cancer needs to pay, return or um, pay out within a legal suit is going to be re returned. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. <coughs> oh my God. Um. Then a friend, two friends, you got to be aware. Leah and a Libran, okay, be aware because they're blaming you for things that they have done. Walk away, walk away. Problems could be shady at home if you're in a relationship. And uh, yeah, so follow us to the other side to see conflicts within Anything to do with documents, signing documents, um, conflicts with a Leo, conflicts with a Libran. So Leos and Libran is where you need to watch out because they are having conflicts and trying to drag you in this. And whatever they have done, they have to pay out a lot of money. Okay, so whatever they're doing and whatever this conflict is about, you're going to be winning this legal issue. A Taurus is in a whole lot of problems because the, this Taurus have done something in secrecy um, and it has to do with a house or if you're in a relationship with a Taurus, you're going to be finding out something. You and the Taurus is going to be having um, a huge conflict, so be aware Good news is going to be coming out. Some sort of a lucky new break, lucky new start. It has success. So this is going to be good. In your house of career judgment, but it is positive. Okay, because people are going to be recognizing that you're on the ball. You're getting things done. So judgment, you are. This judgment call in your work and career is going to be positive. It could be acknowledgement, honors, that sort of a thing. When we look at the energy of a scorpion person, um, whoever the scorpion person is, uh, the scorpion person is in the house of the Aquarians. And it's as if a group of people are recognizing what the scorpion person has done and who the scorpion person. Now, you have to be aware if you're in a relationship um, with a Libran, uh, with uh, an, an, an Aquarius. But it is a situation where the, a water person, a scorpion person had a lot of secrets and their secrets uh, are coming out scorpion and cancers their secrets are coming out so if you're in these relationships be aware 
um you're going to be winning a lawsuit okay and if you were you were divorcing a Pisces Cancer Scorpion, you're going to win a lawsuit. If you are divorcing a Taurus, you're going to be winning a lawsuit. I gotta go. I do love you guys. Please remember to like, share, and thumbs up. I do love you. Namaste.